Well, hello guys and gals. It's been quite a while. I've been very busy working on the Camaro at my buddy's workshop. Finished getting the motor and tranny out of her and the exhaust. And I just got the car back home. So I got her out on my back, back of my home here in the spot where I'm going to be doing all my welding and fabrication of all the panels and doing front suspension work putting in new brakes so got the only interior all gutted still so got to get at the floor inside here get some sanding and grinding and cleaning up Well, this is what I got to contend with. Get the engine bay all cleaned out. Gonna do all the wiring yet. Sand all down the frame in here. Jack up the front end. Put her on some blocks. Because I want to redo all the front suspension. Put in new front brakes. And the firewall doesn't look too bad. We'll see when I get everything cleaned out in here. Take some pictures of all my wiring and make sure everything. I know where she goes back again. The frame fairly rusty but not too too shabby. Nothing wire wheeling and little sand and can't clean up. Let's put some new brakes and rotors and everything else on her. I can see that coming. So I get rid of all the harnesses. Pretty gummed up in the suspension and the bushings. I'm gonna have to redo all these girls. Clean everything right up. Start again. Might just buy a whole new front suspension for her. high performance suspension. We'll see how she goes here. I pulled her out back here so that I can do the welding back here because I got my one window here that I'm going to be running an extension through for my welder, my new welder that I'm going to be using to do all this heavy welding so that I can work in comfort and out of the heat back here. It's more, more shadier back in here working. And this is where I'm going to have my painting area anyway, so... I figured I might as well bring her right back here for now. So I'm just going to get some blocks and get the front end up in the air. Now the motor and tranny's out, so. It'll be real easy to get her up. 
Start checking everything and seeing what else I got to do to her. I'm planning to put a 350 back in it. I'm looking around for an engine here from a friend here who lives a couple of blocks away from me here. He builds engines and trannies and stuff like that. So to see what he can come up with for a 350 or 400 or something, whatever I can get for a good deal to put back in her. But I want to use my turbo 350 tranny off the 305 that was in her because it was in great shape. So I'm going to bolt that tranny up to whatever motor that I can get that would fit up good to her. So I'm going to hopefully plan on reboring one, reboring the engine that I get so that I can try to get around 400 horses out of her. So we'll see how it goes. So it's been a while so I thought I'd just give an update on what's been going on this past few weeks and haven't made a video for quite a while so just been so busy trying to get things organized to get the car back home and getting engines figured out and trannies and so thanks for watching guys and gals and hope to hear some comments and from you guys that do these kind of restoration work let me know your opinions and hopefully talk to you real soon with some more progress as I make some more so thanks for watching and have a great day and talk to you all soon bye bye